Some of you might want to know how exactly we test, so we made this extra video and explain what the system is, how it's set up, and what settings we use. So we got the Trooper case, we got some ADATA gaming memory, 1600, and we got an ASUS uh, Extreme 4Z from ASUS ROG, Republic of Gamers. We have an ASUS GTX 680, uh, Cooler Master, Silent Pro Platinum, 1000 watts, and um, we have a 3570K, Overclock, we've unlocked a multiplier overclock to 4.2, 4.6, 4.8, 4.9, depending on the settings we test it with. We use a Kyoritsu AC DC digital clamp meter that basically lets us measure the power consumption of the motherboard, the part that feeds the CPU, so we know how much power the CPU is eating and how much heat it's producing. Um, then we have a temp probe here. We measure the ambient temperature or the temperature uh, that goes into the case for the radiator. So for the side-in, we measure the temperature on the outside. This is the air temperature that cools the radiator. And for the Intel stock heatsink, we measure the temperature above the CPU heatsink. So again, we measure the air temperature that goes into the heatsink to uh, get an idea of how well the cooling system works and performs. Then at the same time, we measure the voltage, the 12 volt voltage, because this is what the motherboard uses to feed the CPU. And Calculating the current together with the voltage gives us the watt wattage power consumption of the CPU. All right, we use an ADATA SSD that doesn't really matter for the testing though. And uh, software-wise, we use Lynx 0.64. Um, you saw that we ran several iterations. Um, we use real-time GT 3.7 to read the CPU temperature from the internal CPU uh, temp probes directly. And that's about it.